you obviously know the man better than any of us here. And it is extraordinary. Today, I see that Simon Coveney is out saying, oh, we're relaxed about when he goes. <laughs> Michael Noonan is out saying that he definitely... It would, they're actually saying, no, I think was it Charlie Flanagan said today, it would be rude of him to go before the Brexit <laughs> negotiation starts. So now it would be rude of him to go. He's now on to June, and you suspect that it yeah. could go on again. Well, look, at it's very obvious. He doesn't want to leave. He's not ready to leave. Do you think? <laughs> oh, it's, it's as obvious as the nose on your face, as they say. But look, into the street fighter, the other boys aren't. Um, like Leo and Simon, they're demure characters, they're gentlemanly. And this is a really tough moment within Fine Gael because, as we said, Inda's not ready to leave. And now Michael Noonan, a man I have, you know, great feeling for, he's a heavyweight in the party and yeah. he's now saying we need him till June. Yeah, because so, that means we have Noonan till June as well, yeah, isn't that absolutely. right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like yeah. it's, there's what you would call the Kennyites there. <laughs> yeah. And obviously the new, whoever the new Taoiseach will be, will need those votes. So it's, um, it's a tricky one. And Is he I, going to go in June or would you, would you, would you I, give him another bit after that? Personally, I don't know when he's going to go. But I think that the smart thing to do would be to offer the guy a job. Like, really say, maybe Somebody, you should... somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, our, our, delivery, our delivery watching. He's very good at travelling around the place. It could be the he's most... a good cyclist, and, and he's carried a very heavy load for yeah, a long time. And Edna, no, Edna, what do you make, make of Minister for Brexit. And, yeah. I, like, I, I mean, God, no, it's got to be for me to stand up for Enda, but that one speech that, that did go viral, I did think that was great. You know, that was a good moment for him. Okay. It doesn't maybe, uh, can, you know, it definitely doesn't cancel out everything else, but if I, I give him his dues on that, I do think it's brave to stand in the American president's own house beside him and make this point. Yes, it's possible Donald Trump didn't quite understand what he was saying, <laughs> but I think it would have been explained to him. I mean, he would have read about it in the papers the next day, but probably Fox. dismissed it as false yeah, news. Yeah. 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 So, but, um, so I think the only way to deliver it, though, Etna, because you couldn't have said that to Donald Trump's face. So well, the, we wouldn't the, have seen the, it the, as the well. best way to do it was the way he did it. Yeah. Straight down in the speech. Yeah, and in, he, in and a way that you weren't really Absolutely, because he Donald wasn't Trump. challenging.